Hello everyone and welcome to something a little bit different on the channel today. It's still in the same sort of theme, it's still about place, but we're going right in to the YouTube archives and we're playing GeoGuessr. As it is election day in the US of A, we will be playing the United States level map, whatever you want to call it. I've never been to the US, I don't know what to expect. Um, well, I, I know what to expect. I, I know what America is, but I, I, I have no personal experience of any of these places, so not expecting to do very well. But we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, let's get started. Well, it looks like we're in the middle of nowhere for the first map. This is a good start. We'll just carry on going down this really long road until we can find something that resembles a signpost. This is an excellent start. It looks like we are in proper Trump country right now. I'm still going along this road. Right, let's have a look at this truck. What do we reckon? Is there like a number plate on it that will give away like what, what county, what state we're in? No, because apparently I can't get near the number plate. Oh my word. What's that on the side of the lorry? Can we see that? Smart Logistics LLC. You, uh, what does that even mean? This is a great start. Welcome to GeoGuessr. So there's more lorries up there, there's more trucks. There's a camper van that looks like straight out Breaking Bad. There is another truck. We are in proper Trump country right now. I think we're just going to have to take a guess because if we carry on going along this road, we are not going to get anywhere. And I don't want to have 10 minutes of just me going along a straight road in the middle of what I'm guessing is either Arizona or Texas or somewhere like that so let's let's have a look let's try what do you reckon if I get anywhere near on this I'll be really pleased New Mexico was another one I thought I'm gonna go with New Mexico just because of the RV bit breaking bad where is uh, Albuquerque so we know it's in the middle of nowhere. This looks like a nice long straight road to the middle of nowhere. But then so does this. Let's go with Amarillo. In honour of Peter K. Guess. Oh. Right, okay. We're in more of Trump Town here. Another long straight road with nothing on it. Oh. Geo Guesser. What you bring is outstanding. I'll be lucky to do well at all in this. What is that? It's like a cross on the hill. It's either like a grave or maybe like some sort of religious site or something like that. Ah, civilization. We want to get down there. Ah, what's that? There's a sign. There's a sign. A farm, I think. No, Walton. <laughs> there's a gun on it. <laughs> of course there's a gun on it. Of course there's a gun on it. I, I, I'm... America, just... You outstand me. There was a green sign around here. I wasn't imagining it. I'm not going mad. Well, I want to get to this, like, power plant place. There's like a proper like ranch here. That's proper Red Dead Redemption. I uh, this is going to be a dreadful debut as a GeoGuessr game on YouTube. I'll tell you that. What's this up ahead? Okay, there's some sort of fire department dealing with something, which might actually help me if there's something on the side that says who they are 
It says what fire department they are. That doesn't seem to say anything. Is that Ohio? I don't know. Does Ohio look like this? There's a man here. Again, nothing on the side. Let's go down to this blue side. We may have to have another wild guess. It's not going to be Nevada again. I'm going to guess. I don't think the game would put me in two places. Uh, the same state. What is that though? Oh, blurry. What does that say? I mean, there is a town coming up. Something. What's that say? Shift Luke welcomes you. I mean, well, this is a town. We've definitely reached a, a proper. Uh, what's it? Mind con compression. We've reached the depths of Republican America once again. It looks like there's quite a lot of business up here, actually. Oh, every single sign I read is blurry. Everything. Ah, oh, here we go. This looks like civilization. Home Improvement Center. What does that say? It says, this, that is the name of the town. Whatever that is. Because that is exactly the same sort of lettering I saw earlier. I need to see that sign. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. Um, okay. Shattuck. If I were a place named Shattuck, where would I be? I apologise to anyone who lives in Shattuck. This looks like it's straight out of Stranger Things. This looks like it's in the 80s. That looks like the little bit where like the pharmacy is. Chateauk Public Library. Okay, so we know where we are. We don't know what state we're in. I was hoping it'd be somewhere I had heard of. The reason I was going back here is because it looked like, if I zoom out, there's a flag. What is that? What does that flag say? Is that a state flag? Oklahoma! Okay, so we need to find Chateauk, Oklahoma. This is where you're all going to see my lovely geography knowledge of America. There's Oklahoma. Right down in the deep south again. Okay. Shattuck. <laughs> Amarillo is where I guessed last time. So maybe I'm not far off where I was before. Or where I thought I was before. Can anybody see a Shattuck? Where does... The, oh, <gasps> Shattuck. Right. I have found Shattuck. Okay, so we came into Shattuck. But from which way? Which way? That way? Or that I'm going to go with up here? But does that look deserty enough? It was pretty desert. I'm going to go about here. Oh! Two miles away. Oh, I'm pleased with that. <laughs> that makes up for the first round. I think the trick is is just keep going until I find somewhere that resembles civilization, um, and then look for a sign like I did before. It's just it does, you never know whether you're going the right way or not. What's that say? Burning permits required? See, if I lived in America, I'd probably be able to tell you what this area code is or something, but I don't, and I've never been, so <laughs> we're screwed. Five minutes later. 
What's this? Everywhere you go on these roads, there's always some sort of DIY roadworks going on. Like, I mean, I know that happens everywhere, it's not a rare thing, but it seems to be happening a lot on GeoGuessr today. What is this? The city of Waynesboro. Waynesboro? I'm pretty sure I've heard of Waynesboro. Our home is your home, come again soon. City of Waynesboro. Fast pace. We can help. Okay, so we, I guess if we carry on going down this road, this looks like a racetrack. Okay, Just a bit more civilization, a bit more civilization now. Graves Auto Sales. Hmm. I need, like, I need another state flag. Something springs. Is that a cannon? Or was that a train? What is that? Looks like a steam train. I think it is just something on a trailer, but it legit looked like a like a steam train. I swear that Google cars on the wrong side of the road here. Or maybe it came that way. Don't know how it works. So Waynesboro. Waynesboro. Ooh. This right here. This looks like it's straight out of like Texas Chainsaw Massacre or something like that. Oh, I'm literally buggered. Wayne's Where have I heard that name before? It sounds I can imagine it being in like California. Waynesboro, California. Like deep California. Because how far can we go really if we don't want this video to be an hour long. No tree clearing, no cutting allowed. Five minutes later. I might have to do another random guess like I did in the first round. Thankfully, Tanuk or Tatuk or whatever, wherever I was, round two did help. What about if I go up here? Wayne Furnace Church of Christ meets here. It's FedEx round there. <laughs> what? Can I ask him? Oh, we're going to have to do another random guess. Okay. Waynesboro. Waynesboro. Okay, well, I think I'm in the south again. California, is that too? Waynesboro, California. Sounds like it could be. I'm gonna have to go like here. This looks like countryside. It's on the way to Arizona, outside of California. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> Waynesboro, Tennessee, by the looks of things. Yeah, Waynesboro, Tennessee. My geography is shocking of America. I am the other side of the country. Believe me, if you if you go and watch my other videos where I'm talking to people about place, luckily a lot of them aren't in America, so I have a good general grasp of where a lot of places are that people mention. But as soon as I get an American guest, I'm going to be screwed. Right, next round. Okay, this is a little bit different. This has got moisture. Rather than dry sand all the time, we've got moisture. So let's see. I mean, this this could this be swampy? Could this be... Five minutes later. I have been clicking for so long, so long without any sign of humanity, or of mankind, or of life, something. What, I can't, what does an orange sign like that mean in America? 
What does it mean? What are these things? I look like I'm about to come across some sort of secluded army base. Are they houses over there? Oh, they're trees. Oh my word. Right at crossroads. See, if this was in Britain, there'd be a load of signs and a roundabout telling me exactly where everything is. But in America, you just don't seem to tell anybody where anything is. If I'm going down this road, there would be a sign telling me right is that, left is that. But here, apparently not. This looks like the end of Castaway when Tom Hanks is sitting on a corner here and he's given the parcel back to that woman who he held kept on the island and then she goes to a farm I, I have no idea where I am Google this is some grainy footage I think we might have to have another random guess in America like these signs are just completely blurry we're gonna have to guess I don't think we're as south as we were before. We've been left, we've been right on the map. Could we be up in the top left? It looks a little less hot, it looks a little bit more damp, a bit more rain. Maybe Washington, Oregon up that way? I mean either way, I'm not gonna get many points. I'm gonna go with Oregon in like this sort of greeny area. Because that suggests that there could be water there. Okay, let's see. <gasps> oh, I wasn't far off. I mean, when I say I wasn't far off, I was still over a thousand miles off. That's more than I was in the first one. But I'm up in the top left. Dakota. I'm, I'm, I'm in a straight line as well. I've got the right height altitude in the earth I've got that right but I haven't quite got where it is but I'll still take that I'll still take that it's another 556 points we are up to this looks like civilization this helps we're up to 6567 going into round five and I think if this is civilization if I can find where this is and figure out what state we're in, I think we might have a good chance of at least getting above 700. I don't know what a good score on this map is, but hopefully this will help. This looks, it looks so old school. It looks so old school. Like this is where you expect it or Stranger Things to be set. This is proper, I love how these houses look. I love it. I think the architecture in places like this is amazing, but it just all looks the same. Um, there was an American flag there. I've lost it. I swear the American. I swear I've just lost where I was. Roy Street. We, I had high hopes for this. This looks a bit more built up. What's that? Some sort of like area there. Is there anything? What is that? What is that in the road? <laughs> looks like the inside of a fridge. Ah, okay. What's that? USPS. US Postal Service. Can they help me? I mentioned Tom Hanks earlier. He's one of your kind, kind of. You work for FedEx, but still. Your brethren. American flags everywhere. Aha, a bus. Buses always have on them where they're going except when they disappear when you go too far on Google Maps. What is this little shanty place here? What is that? Is that like the Eiffel Tower on there? Am I seeing that or is that real? There's some like flowers and stuff. Oh, oh, hello. Swamp Scott. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Swamp Scott, somewhere in America we are. So, we need to find where this is, Rotary International. We need a state, we need a state to find out where Swamp Scott, USA is. School bus, what? 
that is a school bus in Swamp Scott. So I'm guessing it's not a very big population. Swamp Scott, Swamp Scott. Hang about. Essex. Hey, represent. Essex Avenue down that way. All the way back home. For those of you who don't know, and if you haven't watched the episodes before, of course Essex is my home county in the United Kingdom. So that's a bit exciting, isn't it? Up the blades. Also my uh, Elma meter, or however you say it, is Essex University before I was at Brunel University. So that's interesting as well. Extra points to Swamp Stock or Swamp Scott for having an Essex Avenue. But minus points to Swamp Scott for not helping me to know where I am. Hello. Ma. There's the old school bus again, and it says Ma. Now that is a certain American state that I can't pronounce the name of, so I'm not going to try it, but it's where Boston is, for those of you watching who, who know what state I mean. So, are we there in a Massachusetts? I can't say the word. We're not in Mongolia, I know that. Where is Boston? Let's find Boston. Here we go, so... We are in M.A. There's Boston. Okay, so we're in Swamp Scott. Swamp Scott suggests that it's quite wet. Shrewsbury. Leicester. We're in the Midlands. Where Salem's up here. There's uh, Essex. Ipswich. Up the Blues. <laughs> we might be onto something here. So if Essex is that way, and that was Essex Street, Essex Street, oh my word, Swamp Scott, where are you? There's Ipswich, the Blue Army, my team, I like this part of America, I, I don't know if it's nice, I don't know if it's a nice part of America, but... It's got some, <laughs> it's got some East Anglian heritage. I'll say that. Oh, so where is it? So Swamp's, we were going down the road, and Swamp's got had the sign to Essex pointing right. So it's got to be around. There's some water here, so it's got to be on the left. But I can't see anything that says Swamp's got. Thing is, if Swamp's got, Swamp's got didn't look tiny, but if it is tiny, then it's not going to come up unless I really zoom in. Unless it's over this way, because this is all a bit swampy. I'm tempted just to stick it in Ipswich just for, for the sake of it. I wanna, I want, I feel like this Essex Street, Highland Street. I think we're gonna have to stick it around here somewhere. It's not that far out. It's on the right. Swamps, water. Let's go. For around here. Swamp Scott, bring me home. Oh, I wasn't that close at all. I was down nearby Salem and Boston. That's a long old way for there to be an Essex Avenue, you know. Still, 4,897 points. That's a lot more than what I anticipated. That gets me quite high up, I believe. I've got a new medal for the United States. Right, let's have a look. So, my first one was a shocker. I was completely over the wrong place. Two. Bang on. Where were we in two? We were in Shatuk. Big up Shatuk. Number three. That was even more of a shocker than the first one. Number four. I was up in the right sort of district. But again, not bad. But number five as well. Pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with a couple of those. So, if you'd like to see more of this, if you'd like to see some more GeoGuessr on my channel, then hit me up in the comments and let me know. It really relates to what I've been doing with all my fantastic guests about uh, traveling and places that they love. So I'd love to do a little bit more of it on the channel to grow an audience, to just get more, in more people more interested in space, or place, I should say. Space kind of works as well. We could do a space GeoGuessr if that's a thing. Remember to like, subscribe, put notifications on, and keep an eye out for future episodes of Saving Place. 
There's one more coming this week, and there should be, a, well, there should be hopefully plenty more in the future coming out weekly on Thursdays or Fridays. Let me know if you want to see more of this, and I will do some more. See you later.